Hey everyone, welcome back to History of Cars, where we break down the science, engineering, and the awesome world of cars. Today, we're diving into a question you might have never thought to ask. Why don't modern cars use inline eight engines anymore? Sounds cool, right? Well, there's a reason, or actually several reasons, why these long beasts disappeared from our cars. Let's rev up and get into it. There was a time when inline eight engines roared on the streets, especially during the early 20th century. These engines were seen in luxury cars like Packard, Duesenberg, and Bugatti. So, what happened? Let's break it down. First, let's start with a quick history lesson. The inline eight or straight eight was an engine configuration where all eight cylinders were lined up in, you guessed it, a straight line. It became popular in the 1920s and 1930s. Companies like Buick, Mercedes-Benz and Bugatti built cars with inline eight engines that were smooth and powerful. But why? The main advantage of an inline eight was its smooth power delivery. With eight cylinders firing one after the other in a linear sequence, the engine ran with minimal vibration. This was perfect for luxury cars that needed smooth, quiet power and lots of torque. However, the seeds of its downfall were already being planted. Now the inline eight wasn't perfect. One big problem, size. These engines were long, like really long. So long that fitting them into cars became a design headache. If you wanted to pack an inline eight into a car, you needed a longer engine bay, which meant longer cars overall. This made the inline eight unsuitable for anything other than large cars. The longer engine also created weight distribution problems, which could affect handling. More weight over the front axle wasn't ideal. And that wasn't all. Inline eights were also complex to build and maintain. With a long crankshaft, they were prone to bending or flexing at higher RPMs. This led to reliability issues, especially as performance demands increased in the mid-20th century. Now, here's where things get interesting. Around the 1950s, the V8 engine started to take over. Unlike the straight eight, a V8 has its cylinders arranged in a V-shape, making it more compact and lighter while still delivering impressive power. The V8's compact size made it perfect for smaller, more agile cars. It also solved the handling problems associated with a long, front-heavy inline eight. With better power-to-weight ratios and a more balanced design, the V8 quickly outclassed its inline eight counterpart. Not to mention, V8 engines became the darling of motorsports from NASCAR to drag racing. This was a huge factor in their rise to dominance, and soon, inline eights faded into obscurity. Fast forward to today. You'll notice that inline engines are still around, but they're almost always three, four, five, or six cylinders. And there's a reason for that. Smaller inline engines are easier to package in modern cars, and advancements in technology allow smaller engines to produce more power than ever before. Turbocharging, direct fuel injection, and hybrid systems make inline fours and inline sixes incredibly efficient without needing the extra cylinders. Plus, emissions standards and fuel efficiency regulations today make smaller engines much more attractive. The days of big, thirsty inline eights are long gone. Inline eights may be a thing of the past, but you can still see them in action, just not in modern cars. Classic car collectors and restorers still love these engines for their historical significance and uniqueness. Classic car enthusiasts cherish inline eights for their rarity and mechanical beauty, and who can blame them? There's something special about hearing an inline eight roar to life. So there you have it, the story of why we don't see inline eight engines in modern cars. While they had their moment in the spotlight, advancements in engineering, the rise of the V8, and the push for smaller, more efficient engines pushed the inline eight into the history books. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more automotive breakdowns, and drop a comment below. What's your favorite engine configuration? Inline 6 V8. Let me know. Until next time, keep your engines running.